Hey, what's up there, guys? Corey here with Gotta Be Mobile, and today we're taking a look at the Samsung Gear Live. Now, this is one of two smartwatches that were just announced and released running the brand new Android Wear operating system. A couple weeks ago, Google I.O., we learned all the details about Android Wear, which is the new mobile operating system, you know, built and designed by Google from the ground up. Basically, with smartwatches and, and you know, Google Glass or wearable technology in mind. So, what we're going to do here is give you a quick look at the, you know, this brand new Samsung Gear Live and Android Wear and uh, show you a couple things about it and uh, give you our impressions. So we've had it for a few days. It's been in the box. You know, I've been using it the past couple of days and there's a little pogo you know, charging dock and a few things that come out of the box with it along with a micro USB charging cord. But what we have here with the Samsung Gear Live is a 1.63 inch Super AMOLED you know, display here. It's 320 by 320 resolution. Uh, as a comparison, the LG G Watch is actually 280 by 280, so this does have a slightly higher resolution than the G Watch. Got a 1.2 gigahertz processor and a heart rate sensor and a compass and accelerometer, and it tracks your you know, your movement with your steps with Google Fit and a couple of Samsung's apps and what have you. It is dust and water resistant. You can wear it in the shower. You can wear it in the pool. This is fully water resistant, and uh, overall, it's it's pretty fancy here. There's not a lot going on. Throw the box aside and get into the actual watch. And here, this is the Samsung Gear Live running Android Wear. And as you can see, it's got a really nice design. It's not just some plain square block, kind of like the G-Watch. Samsung has this nice, nice design with this aluminum bezel wrapped around it, and it's kind of curved on bottom to help kind of be more comfortable, you know, as you're wearing this on your wrist. And then kind of just a very generic plain band here, but it does have a nice aluminum, you know, thing down here with Samsung. Then this is where it kind of straps on and off of your wrist. And, uh... But overall, nothing too bad here. Go ahead and flip it back around. And as you can see here, the display is lit up. We've got some weather alerts and a nice little background. It's got the time and the weather with Google Now. And these are those very similar Google Now cards that we're all very familiar with by now. And a quick swipe kind of shows you a full week view. Here we have uh, some rain. And while it's still 109 degrees, it just sounds awful here in Las Vegas. Another swipe will go to open to phone. And what this does allows you to, to open almost any app or notification directly to your phone. So if you're interacting with your, with your watch, which you can do with Android Wear, that's great. But if you'd want to open it to your phone, you go ahead and just swipe over. Usually it's just one swipe. This card has two. You know, and click that to open the phone. The same kind of thing will be replaced with reply buttons for you know Twitter and for messages or Google Hangouts or emails or you you know what have you. But and then another swipe will bring up your next card. I don't have any more in there. I had some World Cup earlier, but I think I dismissed those. And then there is a button on the side here with the Samsung Gear Live. Quick tap on that kind of goes into this like low power state, but the watch by default goes into that lo low power state after just a couple of seconds. So, of course, there's only a 300 milliamp hour battery, lasts for about a day, and as you can see here, that screen's now dim. And when you're wearing it, if you flip your, you know, your hand up, th the screen kind of lights up when it's on your wrist, and you kind of flip your wrist up, and uh, you can see here that I got kind of a, a new note, new screen here. Every time uh, on this particular watch face, you'll get different colors and different, different, you know, really nice, backgrounds for your watch gives it that very pretty look it might not look that crisp or whatnot on you know video but it is actually very crisp it looks really nice it's it's pretty impressive overall I'm a fan this is one of my favorite watch faces it has a, a nice stylish look you know maybe for a night out on the town and then when that watch face kind of dims which it'll do here in a second it goes a very generic black and white low power state saves the battery yet still gives you that classic watch look but go ahead and tap the screen again to light it up. Push and hold, and you can go ahead and pan through tons of different watch faces. This one's pretty fun. Just kind of gives you a kind of a bold digital look. Pull over here. Here's another one. Um, sometimes it's red. Sometimes it's blue. This kind of it changes throughout the day, so it's just kind of a nice little touch. Um, there's not a lot of customization yet. Of course, Android Wear is brand new. So, I mean, hopefully in, in the nearby future we'll be able to customize and change a lot of these watch faces to what we like. This one's also very simple and minimalistic and uh, gives you kind of the second clock counter. And then when the screen dims, it's kind of the same thing, just very dark, very simple, low power, yet still tells you the time. So that one's another one that we've kind of liked here. Just kind of scroll through. There's not tons of options, but there's a few decent ones here, nothing too too extreme. But then of course with Android Wear, a quick swipe down will mute. If you don't want those notifications coming from your phone, you don't want text messages or calls coming in on your wrist, you just swipe down and mute it. And then you swipe down again and it unmutes. There is an apt actual vibration haptic feedback. 
as well as visually. So you can see here, July 8th, 88% battery life. It kind of tells you all that right there on that screen. But, uh, and then of course, there's the voice actions. A big part about the Android Wear smartwatches is everything we use and enjoy with kind of a Google Now is on this. So you say, okay, Google, how's the weather in Las Vegas? And you get a nice look at the weather. Of course, I already knew that because it's right on my home screen. Okay, Google, navigation. I'm going to pop up, ask you where I want to navigate to, or, okay, Google, call Best Buy. And, of course, you can call Best Buy right from your, your actual wrist. That one didn't work for me, but you can usually do it right from your wrist. You take a note, do reminders, heart rate sensors, send emails, send text messages, all kinds of stuff. Do the smartwatch. Another thing here is you just cover it with your palm, and it instantly goes back to that low-power state. That's kind of a nice effect here. If you're in the middle of something, you don't want to kind of fumble through things, that does it for you, which is kind of nice. Okay, Google. And then uh, go ahead and scroll down to the bottom here and go into some of those settings. We can change the brightness on the screen. You can see that on video, one, two, three, four, five. There's tons of different options, you know, if you don't want to kill that battery. You can have the screen always on. There's some airplane modes and restarting the device and going into settings and change watch faces. And there are some developer options, nothing too crazy. But I mean, in general, this is just a very simple, very simple watch face here. Google Now on there and some beautiful screens and nice watch faces. But that was just a quick look at the Samsung Gear Live. Um, we're expecting tons to come of Android Wear here in the future. A lot of watches coming out from other companies and developers are obviously going to attack this and release all kinds of watch faces. And I think there's already a Flappy Bird a game for it and all kinds of stuff and keyboards and what have you. But there it is, Android Wear on the Samsung Gear Live. Stay tuned for plenty more video. Thanks for watching, guys.